What's up guys welcome back to yet another video yesterday oneplus rolled out stable android 12 for oneplus 9 series and it's based on color os 12 so here i have my oneplus 9 on which i have already installed the color os 12 based on android 12 let me show you the software information first going to about section here you can see color os version is 12 if you go inside android version android version is 12 which comes with the security patch of 5th november 2021 if you guys wants to install color os 12 on your device let me know in the comment section below i'll do a dedicated video on the installation guide of color os on global units of oneplus 9 series we are soon going to see the android 12 based on oxygen os 12 also for oneplus 9 series and when the update is rolled out you guys will see a video on our channel so stay tuned for that before talking about the change logs let me show you the benchmark results on this latest build of color os 12 so here with Geekbench application, single core have scored 879 and multi core have scored 3328. And if you guys take a look at the change logs here, we have a huge list of change logs. As you can see here, they have mentioned tons of changes done on Color OS 12. Until now, I think most of you guys are aware about what all new features have been added on Color OS 12. And if I discover more features on Color OS 12, then I'll do a dedicated video on that. I'm using this build of Color OS 12 on my OnePlus 9 from the time it was released. And trust me guys, if you are the one who try custom ROMs or who wants to try different OS for once, make sure to give it a try of Color OS 12 if you have OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro. The stability of this OS is damn good. And I love the animation effects. You can see the blur effect while scrolling down the notification panel. Also, if you open up any application, you can see that popping out and popping in of the icons. And that's not only limited to stock application, it do support the third party applications too. As said, if you have OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro, make sure to give it a try. If you are installing this OS on your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro, you might get to see some Chinese applications pre-installed. But those applications can be easily uninstalled. And if you are into rooting device, root this build and you can get rid of even system applications which have Chinese language. So if you guys agree in the installation guide, I'll also show you how to install Google Play services. For example, Google Play Store. Here you can see I already have Google Play Store running on my device with ColorOS 12. And all the applications do work fine. When it comes to launcher, they have still not added more layout options in the app drawer. So this is one thing which I personally miss on launcher of Oxygen OS 12 and ColorOS 12. Because in the app drawer, we only have the option of max four tiles. We have these new gestures to quickly access the applications on the larger devices like devices having large screens you just have to swipe from the right or the left side and all the applications will move towards the bottom side from where you can choose any application also here we have the quick slide bar and from here you can open apps in the floating windows so just tap on the application and there you can see you can open any application in the floating windows but you can only use one application at once in the floating windows and I've also noticed one issue with the wallpaper color picking feature. If I use any wallpaper from the third party applications, the system doesn't adopt to the color scheme. So here you can see we have already enabled wallpaper color picking. And if I change the wallpaper now, we'll apply this wallpaper. And here you can take a look, colors haven't changed yet. To change the colors, you just have to go to color section and again select the same option which is wallpaper color picking tap on ok and now the colors will be changed so this issue i have only seen with the wallpapers used from third party applications if i use the stock wallpapers present on color os 12 then there i don't see any kind of issues so it's not a big deal in future these things will be taken care i haven't noticed any kind of issues with the wi-fi and bluetooth services Camera I'll be testing out personally and will also let you know the picture quality if there are any improvements or not. So if you don't get the Oxygen OS update in a day or two, I'll come up with a review video on Color OS 12 stable build. We have tons of options to customize on Color OS like we have lot many options to change the always on display and you can also personalize the same thing. We get more fingerprint animations on Color OS 12 compared to Oxygen OS 12. We still have three color options for the horizon light or you can call it edge lightning. And one add-on on the color os is this video ringtone feature in the battery graph you can also see the usage of your device we have different color codes if there's a high usage of battery you'll get to see orange color in the graph 
I also did lot of gaming after installing Color OS 12 and trust me guys I did not notice any kind of frame drops device was constantly giving me 60 fps without any kind of issues and we have lot many options to improve the gaming performance if you are much into gaming you can also do a face cam recording on Color OS 12 screen recorders gives you an ability to record face cam video using front camera you can also play around with more features like we have flexi windows which i already showed you smart slide bar simple mode kid space driving mode and a feature called retouch appearance in the video calls under motion almost everything is working fine like raise to wake lift to ear to answer call auto switch to receiver and many more one handed mode works pretty fine so guys this was a quick look on color os 12 stable builds for oneplus 9 and 9 pro i'll be coming up with a complete review and also will do a dedicated video on all the features and the stability of color os 12 You guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a installation guide of this same then by today evening I'll upload a video guide explaining you guys how to update and which particular update you should have it on your device to perform a local upgrade as of now only this much in this video I hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day